Well, with the vacuum industry, you know, legacy, it's always been like bigger, badder, you know, better and fancy. That was the model, you know, from the 90s, you know, going into the early 2000s. It was about how big you could have your truck, what you could have on it, all the bells and whistles. That has really changed lately to go with, you know, really getting the units down to bare bones, you know, still having that great, sleek, you know, fancy look, but being uh, really effective in the workplace, right? So working with your airflow on the vacuum side, working with the road legal weights, you know, having a compliant unit that is not only compliant for TDG standards, but also the non-code world where you're looking at really having the most capacity for debris, you know, road legal down the road. I can't beat that up enough. And uh, the guys are just passionate about, you know, units not breaking down, your quality of your, your craft and, and your, the guys you have building the units, right from the welders to the mill rates, to the mechanics, to the electricians, you know, to your QC. Having that unit last as long as the chassis will last on the back end or the mounted equipment, instead of having one piece go and the other one breaks down, right? But what I could say about vacuum industry is guys are passionate because they live in their trucks, right? These guys are in their trucks all the time. They're proud of their units when they're running them. They take the time to clean them. They take the time to really make sure they're shining when they go down the road. So anything we can do to kind of separate ourselves and have the CV brand so that when you see a vacuum unit, because a lot of them look the same, that you know that that unit was built that CV, right? Or, you know, when, when five years down the road, the truck's only been back in the shop a couple times. Th those are the key things, right? Relationships and, and that are all are part of the process.